decisions. And another thing that I remember thinking uh, and the perspective shifted for me was that the world felt a lot smaller. Like previously, um, you know, going away to Singapore felt like thousands of miles away. But actually, it was just one flight and it isn't actually too far, especially with the technology that we have now and be able now being able to connect with people through, you know, what's that video call or Zoom or whatever from around the world. Actually, the world shrunk for me. Um, and that's something that I also felt. And I also felt that a year uh, didn't, doesn't feel as long as it once did. Uh, I felt yeah. like I was time does go by. The idea that I was booking a one-way ticket to India, not knowing when I was going, re- going to return, felt okay because it just felt okay. Yeah, because of, mm. I had experienced a long time, a long time abroad uh, in the past. Do you think this, uh, the world being smaller, things being more accessible, um, is overall a good thing? Because, I only say that because, obviously, mm-hmm. it's so easy to get caught up with things that are happening thousands of miles away that doesn't, almost don't affect you. Like, information is so instant, right? So if you think of uh, all the protests, the anti-quarantine um, protests in the US or anything, or things that Trump's, Trump is saying, it's so easy to just, you read it and you're suddenly so enraged about how could this happen really it's a person on the other side of the world and it might mm. maybe indirectly somehow um affect you but really it's not of your immediate concern but like having that sort of um information at the tip of your fingertips do you think really that's a, that's a good thing overall interestingly um i don't think i have a, an opinion on that specifically but related to that i do remember in my time in singapore i started to become a lot more familiar with stoicism um, and that idea of kind of identifying what you are in control of and what you're not in control of so for me something like that you know it's something that i still consume but it's not something that i get emotionally attached to or i think too much about because i'm not in control of what happens miles away in the us so i don't really care essentially and i'm kind of more focusing on the things that i am in control of um Mm. so but So I think for me, it's something that's something that I don't really think about too much. I think it's your personal relationship to that thing. So for me, that doesn't affect me, but for others, it could really affect them and uh, become really enraged. So I think the technology itself isn't the issue. It's how we approach and how we relate to the technology is how, yeah, how we uh, react to it, I guess, is is the problem. Maybe. So I think yeah. actually the general connectivity and information being instantaneous, I think is overall a good thing for sure. Uh, and then I think it's just on ourselves, how we relate to those things that make it more of a good or bad thing. What do you think? Yeah, no, definitely, definitely agree. Uh, I think that's uh, another thing of kind of being present. You can always mm. think of future consequences or how things panned out in the past. But actually, if you just worry about you here now, the people around you, then I think, again, that like baseline peace of mind is is just better and i definitely agree uh concentrate on what you can control and forget what you can't because why stress about it 